guys, Karen here with another La Crusade video. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Um, thank you for thank you for returning to our channel. Bom dia to all of those from Brazil, and thank you for watching from Brazil. Um, if you notice from the title today, La Crusade Around the World, we chose to go with Brazil today because Brazil is our third highest watcher according to YouTube. <laughs> so we thought it was um, it would be fun to highlight Brazil at this time and, um, and say hi to all of you guys. And I, I do come across a lot of people from Brazil in the comments. So, you know, thank you so much, you guys, for subscribing. We really appreciate it. Um, and then housekeeping. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the fam. We'd love to have you. And hopefully you guys will help us get to a thousand subscribers and we will give away a hundred dollar gift card to lacrusade.com. So all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and you'll be entered into that giveaway. Um, uh, cause we're, we're going to enter all of our subscribers and I think that's it. So, um, once again, let's get right into it because I am not going to keep you guys that long. I really enjoyed the, um, Brazil La Crusade website. It's very easy to navigate. Um, and it, it, it was a uh, very much like the U S site. The only difference that I found is there's much less tabs because a lot of things are combined, which is fine. For instance, you will find that the Dutch ovens, as well as the brazers and specialty items, a lot of the specialty items are grouped together. And then also in some instances, they are separate. Um, if you're looking for like the tagine and what have you. Um, uh, I'm just gonna give you some screenshots of the different things that I found. Very similar to the US site, they have all of their grill pans together. You can get the square grill pans. They have the long handle with the short handle at the top. You can get the oval grill pans with the same dynamic with the long handle, short handle, and the square griddle um, grill pan that has the two short handles on the side, along with the just the regular grill pans, the rectangular ones. Um, that's one thing that I noticed. The other one, the tea kettles are all the same on the site. So they look just the same as on the US site. I am like totally always going about looking at the other sites. Um, and I find it to be so much fun. And like I said, they have like all of the Dutch ovens, the rice pots, the baking, um, the bread baker, all of those types of things together so you won't have to click too much in order to find certain things on their site um, you know and also you under the Dutch ovens I'm looking at my notes here because I have a handy dandy handy dandy notebook um, the Dutch ovens and brazers are together which is fine because it makes it much easier to find speaking of brazers um, the one thing that I another thing that I noticed is that the prices are considerably higher um, in Brazil. So a 30 centimeter brazier here in the US, which is the three and a half quart, will cost you uh, $368 here. But in Brazil, it will cost $439. So the prices are a bit higher, but that's the only thing that I could find that I thought like, whoo, I wasn't expecting that because I truly was not expecting the higher prices. Um, uh, they have, I noticed too, that they have a risotto signature pot. I had never seen anything like that before. Um, and then I went on, I cross-referenced that with the US site and I typed in risotto pot and came up with the, uh, our version is the sawtooth. So, um, if you're looking for that risotto pot there, similar, what is similar to the sawtooth here, it would be that risotto pot at 30 centimeters is $474 once it's converted. Like, so I just converted it from the Brazilian real, how, uh, please forgive me if I said that incorrectly, over to the dollar. So it's $474. Here, that sawtooth is $315, $315. Um, 
they had so many so but that's one pot that i thought oh that's really neat and those were like some of the the most the least expensive so if i were to format a list um for someone to get started in brazil one item the first item that i would suggest rather than a dutch oven would likely probably be the um brazier because I found that to be one of the cheaper along with like the rice pot tea kettles um, grill pans um, and speaking of grill pans we're gonna move towards the skillets so the skillets they actually have you guys actually have a deep skillet over there I was kind of like jealous I was like wait a second you guys have the deep skillet over there if you're interested in that. The deep skillet where you guys are is $293 converted into US dollars. And I thought that was really cool. You have a couple of colors available. And they also have the signature skillet too that has lots of colors as well for $272. Here in the US, that same skillet is $175. Um, but that deep dutch i was like hmm the deep dutch skillet reminds me of the stove deep dutch skillet although the one from stove is a lot bigger um but i don't know in terms of how heavy how much heavier that might be not too sure about that but if you're interested in the skillets the skillets the rice pots the specialty items on the website in brazil you know those are the cheaper the least expensive items um, if you're looking for a place to start with maybe your first um, La Crusade item. Um, then I also looked up stock. So what I found was the stock pots in Brazil, the sizes, you guys have different sizes. So here they have like four or five different sizes to choose from. There it was two on the site. Maybe it's different when you go in store, but on the site there was two. It was 22 centimeters, which holds about 3.5 um, uh, quarts. And then you have the 26 centimeters that holds about 7 and 2, 5 quarts. Um, but the, the 20, I only got the price for the 26 centimeters, so that would be about $184. So I'm going to end with the two things that I found most interesting. So that I kind of like, oh, so there was a teapot with the infuser. That was, that's one of my favorites on the site. I thought like, wow. Um, so, you know, I, I'm dropping pictures as I speak. I thought it was so neat. And the price I think is around $45 uh, once it's converted. So great price. Um, I am trying to find one of these here that looks like that very uh, uh, kind of traditional and fun. And I thought like, wow, that is so neat. Three colors available on the site, um, on the Brazil site. So that is neat. And then last but not least, I was like, oh, the, con the pots, uh, the condiment pots. You guys, you have never let me know you have these here. <laughs> We don't have access to these. These are amazing. Seeing this actual item, I went to see all of the sauces and dips and things that are served with lots of Brazilian meals. Uh, just outstanding. And I thought, oh, this is so neat to be able to serve up, you know, the different types of condiments and sauces and, you know, um, different salsas and that sort of thing in these containers anyone anywhere else if you all have these on your site please let me know i looked on our site i did not see these anywhere they come in three colors um great price i you know this is something i wouldn't bat an eyelash i would just get them um <laughs> they are so cute and like so they would come in handy especially if you make a lot of um salsas if you make a lot of sauces and things like that and you want to serve it separately you know and have it done you know in these wonderful little pots oh just incredible and that's why i put it um as the uh thumbnail because i thought it was so 
cool. Well, you guys let me know what you all found on the Brazil site. So guys, we're going to end here. Let me know, like I said, if there's any other place that has the condiments, uh, the pots for condiments. Those are so cute and they have the little spoon with them as well. This was my most favorite item from the site along with the teapot with the infuser. Um, I, I hadn't seen this on any other site so far. Um, if you have this, if you've seen this on any other site, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you guys get a chance to go and peruse over at the uh, Brazil La Crusade site. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What, what were some of the things that you saw that were your favorite things or, you know, you would have added to your uh, collection? Me, definitely, it would be the teapot with the infuser and the condiment pots. Absolutely, I would add them. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, and we will see you guys in the next video.